Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make an amazing banana bread. First thing you have to do is you have to grease this tin. So you're going to take um, a kitchen cloth and you're going to just take a small amount of butter and rub it around your tin. So there you go, nice and greased. So we've greased this tin and now we're going to cream our butter um, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So we do this to make it fluffy and smooth and to get some air into it. So we use a spoon and we just beat it and yeah, mix it together. Make sure your butter is nice and soft so it's easier to smooth down. You can use a spatula to get the butter off the sides. So now I'm going to give my hands a wash. Next, you're going to crack two eggs into the butter. Oh my god, a double yolker! These eggs are for my own chickens. It looks a bit like scrambled eggs. So when you're mixing it in, don't worry if it looks a bit lumpy, because at the end it will all come together. So now we're going to add our bananas. The browner the better. You don't need a knife, you just smush them up into the mixture. This is a great way to use up manky old bananas. They're not bad though. So you get yourself a fork and you just use the fork to push down the bananas and smooth them down. Keep going until it's all mushed in. Because there's no sugar in this, we're going to add a bit more sweetness. You need about two tablespoons of honey. There we go. Next, we're going to add two tablespoons of apple juice. Yum. I'll save the rest for later. Next, we're going to mix it all together. Mm. Oh. Next, we're going to add our dry ingredient. You need 250 grams of self-raising flour. Is it all of this? You're going to use a spatula to fold it in. So different to mixing it, we're folding it, so we keep all the air in, inside of it. This is how you fold. It's making my arm ache a bit, but it's going to be worth it. Now we're going to add a big pinch of cinnamon. See how all the ingredients have come together now. So now I'm going to add these pecan nuts. Pecan nuts? These nuts you can use the cross chop method. How you do this is you put your, one of your hands on top of the knife and the other hand on the handle and just move it around. It's a good method because it's very safe. If you don't want to use a knife, you can crash them up with a rolling pin or you can crunch them in your hand. So, different things that you could add are peanuts, walnuts, hazelnuts, chocolate, uh, chocolate chips, dried fruit, dried mango. Aren't dried raisins dried grapes? Raisins, dried bananas, oh yeah, and chocolate. So now you're going to add these chopped up nuts to your mixture. Here we go. And we're going to mix that in. And that's it. And now we're going to have a little clean up. So now this is all mixed in, you're going to pour this mixture into this tin. So we're going to hold it like this and we're going to pour the mixture to so get all the mixture off the side and into the tin. Now we're going to use a spatula to smooth it out. Now we can add some toppings. You can do whatever topping you like, but I'm going to add some chopped bananas. So you can do this with a blunt knife or you can do it with an adult. That's going to be about enough. And on here, we're just going to sprinkle them on the top. So we're just going to put about six on. So there you go. It's got a bit of a gap at the top because it's going to rise in the oven. Now we're going to go and bake it. So this is my banana bread. It's been cooled on a drying rack and it's ready to be eaten. I've got two slices. That's what it looks like inside. 
So you can spread anything in it really. You can spread chocolate spread, you can spread um, honey, jam, really anything you can think of. Um, so now I'm gonna have a taste. <gasps> so this is my impression of daddy's teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm embarrassing myself. It's super easy and I want you to have a go. Upload your pictures and videos to Instagram on hashtag kitchen buddies. Now let's go and take some to my sister. Bye guys! <laughs>